Will you have one? Rather. Whiskey? Please. You lolly up here. <laughs> <laughs> this is my sister Cecilia, Paul Marshall. I've heard an awful lot about you. Likewise. Where are we putting him? In the blue room. Not surprised. Some sort of rush on at the ministry. It's always a problem when a new brand comes about the remarketing, the repackaging, the reshaping, even the reflavoring. In some cases, a whole new technology. In fact, our main challenge is whether or not to launch the new ammo bar. The army ammo. Do you see? Pass the ammo. <laughs> My source at the ministry is very reliable. I used to clean his shoes at Harrow. Informs me we have a good chance of including it to the standard issue ration pack. Means I'd have to open at least three more factories. More if they bring in conscription, which I say is bound to happen if Hitler doesn't pipe down. He's about as likely to do that as buy shares in Marks and Spencers, wouldn't you agree? This isn't very good. I make a cocktail with crushed ice, rum, and melted dark chocolate. It's absolutely scrumptious. <laughs> Guess who we met on the way in? Robbie. I told him to join us tonight. Oh, Leon, you didn't. No, so, Robbie. The housekeeper's son, whose father did... I don't know what the hell he's doing these days, messing about in flower beds. As a matter of fact, he's planning on doing a medical degree. And the old man said yes to that. Something happened between you? Soon? You can't go home, it's a divorce. How dare you say that? Well, it's true! You will never, ever use that word again. Do you understand? Now what you're going to do? I'm always asking myself that. Mm. My name's Paul Marshall. You must be the uh, cousins from the north. What are your names? Piero. Jackson. <laughs> Marvellous names. <laughs> do you know our parents? Well, I've read about them in the paper. What exactly have you read about them? Oh, you know, usual sort of nonsense. <laughs> I'll thank you not to talk about this in front of the children. Your parents are absolutely wonderful people, that's quite clear, and they love you and think about you all the time. Jolly nice slacks. We went to see a show and I got them at Liberty's. What was the show? Hamlet. Ah, yes. To be or not to be. <laughs> I like your shoes. Duckers in the toe. They make a wooden thing shaped like your foot. Keep it forever. I'm starving. When's dinner? Well, I might be able to help you there if you can guess what I do for a living. You've got a chocolate factory. Everyone knows that. Then it wasn't a guess, was it? <laughs> There'll be one of these in every kit bag of every soldier in the British Army. Sugar casing so it won't melt. Why should they get free sweets? Because they'll be fighting for their country. Ah, oh, Daddy says there's going to be a war. Your daddy is wrong. Calling it the army ammo. Ammo, a mass, a mat. Top marks. <laughs> it's boring how everything ends in O. Polo and Aero and Oxo and Brillo. Sounds as if you don't want it. Then I shall just have to give it to your sister. Bite it. You have to bite it. Bryony. Here we are. My chock tail. <laughs> I insist you try it. What are you talking about? Jackson and Piera bruised her arm, gave her Chinese birds. <clears throat> I'm afraid she's quite right. I had to pull them off her. How oh, I got my war wound. The twins did that, Lola? Yes, it all turned into a bit of a wrestle, I'm afraid. Still no harm done, eh, Lola? Don't worry, we'll send out some search parties. They can't have gone far. <laughs> Tour, Queen Elizabeth is seen here visiting a chocolate factory in the north of England. The confectionery magnate and friend of the British Army, Mr. Paul Marshall, gave the Queen a tour of the Army Ammo factory with his lovely, soon-to-be-wed fiancée, Miss Lola Quincy. What a mouth-watering couple they are. Keep the ammo coming. Our boys have a sweet tooth. 
Secondly, for a remedy against sin and to avoid fornication, that such persons as have not the gift of continence might marry and keep themselves undefiled members of Christ's body. Thirdly, it was ordained for the mutual society, help and comfort that the one ought to have the other. I saw him. Therefore, if any man can show any just cause why they may not be lawfully joined together... I know it was him. Let him now speak or forever hold his peace. I saw him with my own eyes.